Mr. Nicholson, it was looking good on the computer here. What's it like in real life? Looks a bit damp. Yeah, just a little. So um, we're about 3,000 miles from the Horn. Um, we're, we're currently in first place, but um, as you can see, we've sort of we got the hammer down and pushing pretty hard. Um, Stu's on the wheel here at the moment, doing a bloody good job. We've got like 35 to 40 knots. We're probably the only boat still with a spinnaker up, so we're going to try and hang on to it. We'll try and keep the spinnaker on until dark. Um, then, we'll, then we'll get it off and um, go to a jib. It's quite cold too. It, it looks vicious out there and it's expected to get stronger. What are you expecting? Uh, I, I expect the breeze to sort of hover around the 40 knots, but, you know, like 40 knots in the Southern Ocean where we are is is pretty horrendous. It's kind of like about 50 in most places in the world. So, you know, got to really got to treat this with respect. You can see the size of the seas and, you know, just have a look at the faces on the guys in, you know, the concentration levels and what's got to, you know, what's got to happen just to keep this whole program in one piece. Now, what about the damage you sustained? Is that all sorted now? Um, yeah, yeah, we repaired all that. And, um, you know, it's something that we've got to monitor and keep a very close eye on. Because, um, like, the boat is, is a pounding like you wouldn't believe. It really, um, it really is. Now, you'll know about Sanya. You'll feel for them. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like any breakage out here, you know, you very, very quickly start to understand that, you know, like if we're to break something here, we're the furthest, furthest point on the planet away from land or help. And, you know, and have a look at what we're doing. It's marginal. <laughs> now, describe the feeling. I mean, this is what you signed on for. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, um, this is pretty cool, you know, like we've been sort of averaging 25, 26 knots for an hour or so, and we're just surfing these huge waves, like we're going down one now, right now, and we'll probably notice dive at the bottom. You take cover. Yeah. Yeah, I just sort of had, Stu, get, Stu gave me the heads up. What about, uh, what about the, the sort of future strategy now? What, what's your plan now? You're in the lead, how do you stay there? Well, you know, part, part of all trying to get into the lead was, you know, you've got to push, push the competitors just the same as what they were trying to do to us. Um, so, so far, I, I, I think sort of Group Armour had a problem with their spinnaker early early this morning, got rid of it, went to a jib, so they're losing miles to us. We've been able to hang on to it, um, but tonight we're going to sort of close up shop and go to a jib, but we've set ourselves up with a nice angle, so we'll still be very fast, um, but it'll be a little safer. Uh, you know, it's just a bit of fatigue setting in, um, and, and, you know, we've had a couple of close calls through the day, surfing some big, like, big waves with some enormous nose dives last night last night I, when I was driving I took a nose dive and it washed me off the wheel and I fell back on the tray sort of gave, he got a little bit of a sore knee from that I got a sore head from his knee um, so the boat was actually steering by itself for a split second until I until I got hold of my tether and got back on the wheel so you know, you just can't keep doing those kinds of things. So we'll, we'll close it up a little bit tonight, go to a jib. OK, we'll close it up as well, Nick. Uh, Nick uh, we'll let you get some uh, rest and, uh, and take care out there. And thanks for talking to us. Will do. Cheers, man.